When do you want to get married? I want to get married when somebody can love me through my imperfections. I don't need nothing perfect, but love me through my flaws. Don't love me perfectly, but love me correctly. <laughs> You know the vibes. It's Jay. Hand me the lighter, I'm about to get litter than a bitch. Big, big period. Are you serious? These hoes are acting all delirious, and I ain't. You know the vibes. What's it's going Jay. on, J Squad? Plum Squad, it's your girl Jay. You already know. Welcome back to my channel. There's a whole other great vibes going on. Big period. And you already know what's going on by the thumbnail, the title. But not only that, this is about to be a Q&A, but I think you know that too. But anyway, um, before we get into the video, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Make sure that your bell is turned on for all post notifications. Make sure you give this video a like, a thumbs up, share my content, follow me on all my social medias. TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. I don't really be on Facebook, but you can still follow me. Uh, definitely Instagram, definitely TikTok. Snapchat too. And um, if you hear any razzle dazzle bag moving gloves shaking and shit, that's my friend. <laughs> she's gonna be the one that's asking me the questions that you guys asked me. So she's gonna read the questions. So she's not asking me the questions, but she's gonna read the questions that you guys asked me. And this, let's just get into it. So what I have, I got a pound of crab legs. I got a half pound of shrimp. It comes with corn and potato. You know I don't eat beef. You know that. Her shit is juicy. Like that's all the seasoning. That's like what lemon pepper, Cajun, and, um, butter. Yeah. So yeah, she got all that Spicy. extra fucking hot. I was like, bro, if you get extra hot, I'm gonna get hot. So I got juicy hot. I like to get messy. I don't need no gloves. Ugh, not me eating the shit. What makes you feel appreciated? Question number one. What makes me feel appreciated is reinsurance. Like, let me know if we're talking about things that's like not materialistic or physical reinsurance. Reinsurance, like, let me know how you feel. Makes me feel appreciated. Honestly, leave it at that because I'm not a materialistic person. I do like physical more than materialistic things, but your words <laughs> means everything. Question number two, why are you single? This potato is so good. I ain't gonna bite it, but I know it's good. Mmm. Oh mm my god. That feel good? Question number two Why are you single? I feel good though. Your corn good? <laughs> you eat your potato yet? <laughs> Have you ate a shrimp? If I'm not on camera. What does Sasha taste like? Answer the damn question. Because I don't eat beef. <clears throat> I'm single. Because mm -hmm. all good things come to an end. Next. Question number three. What's your favorite mixed drink? Mm. To be honest, I don't even mix drinks. I go shot for shot. I literally found myself on TikTok trying to make a mixed drink. Epic fucking fail. Where did all my exes go? Text the exit O's. Guess the car drive as far as our connection goes. With top floor spitting blessed flows. Extra on the cash. Need mine for as extra goes. Granted, it was drinkable because it's liquid and all the liquids that was Shrimp. combined was, good. was drinkable. But I don't think they would sell that in store or at the bar. I don't think if I was to ever request that, they would have that. But yeah, I don't really have a favorite mixed drink because I'm a shot girl. Is yours hot? No. What's your number? Don't even say the number. Just say uh, it. Because right, right. I forgot the count. I want to say like question number four. <laughs> yeah, there's. Oh my god, are you okay? Alright, question number four. Biggest lesson you have learned so far? The biggest lesson I have learned this far? Mm -hmm. I think it's two lessons I've learned. Number one, to not give anyone so much of my time. The next lesson I learned is to stop like overdoing my role. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm if I'm clear of the intentions, because there's no intentions to like not overdo and give people like my all, like loyalty, time, etc. I'm gonna just keep it simple. All right, question number five. What are some red flags when meeting new people, mm. if there are any? Mm. Red flags. Yeah. The bitch don't eat. Screaming. If that bitch don't eat, don't think about food, don't talk about food, don't suggest food. Crack your vibes. That's a. <laughs> that is a red flag. <laughs> Another red flag is. <laughs> nobody that I know is rich. <clears throat> we don't all have the shit together. We don't all have it figured out. You know what I mean? But if somebody constantly talks about how they don't got it, instead of talking about how they gonna get it, that's a red, that's, that's a red flag. Like, I wanna talk about how you gonna get the money. I don't wanna talk about the money that you don't got. Like, ugh, that, that, is a, that is a turn off. And I don't wanna hear that shit. Facts. Because I feel like when you talk about being broke, you gonna stay broke. Yeah, you gotta talk about how you gonna broke. get, yeah. You gotta talk about the money that's coming and manifest that shit into your life. Okay. You may not even know. But God works in mysterious way. Question number six, uh, your current favorite songs. Mm. Current favorite songs. Jeez, I'm very I'm a very music person. Mm-hmm. I literally I literally just discovered some shit last night that's like my favorite song today. But um and what would it be? Uh I don't know his name. But I know the name of the song. Mm-hmm. Every day. Um off the map. Uh, definitely fucking with future shit. Keep it burning. Uh, for a nut. I think that's the name of the song. I can put some bitch up for a nut. Okay. I like that song too. Um, mm, lucky. Over. Repeat, 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 and repeat some more. I actually discovered some um this Caribbean, or I don't think she's Caribbean. I think she might be Jamaican. Mhm. Mm but I discovered her music. Granted. She talk about fucking a nigga a lot. Her. But her 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 voice sound real fucking good and her her accent, you know what I'm saying? What's her name? Diamond. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Bro, my fault. <laughs> Don't fight her to me, bitch. Fuck that shit up. She got juices running down her chin over here. <laughs> it's a lot of shit that I'm listening to. The love language with friends, if that makes sense. Question number six. <laughs> what is your love language with friends? I heard the question. <laughs> I don't have love languages with friends. I don't even think that's a thing, mm -hmm. but what I expect out of a friend is, um, you know what I'm saying? Not to be judged. Um, don't be fake. Especially if you know me. Don't put me in no crazy ass shit. Don't put me in a situation where I'm about to go to jail. Because, bitch, I'm not going to jail. And I'm going to do everything that I can not to go to jail because I'm not going back. But, yeah, that's just my expectations. And I don't even like to have expectations because they always lead to disappointments. So, <coughs> now you choke. <coughs> that shit crazy. <coughs> I'm telling you. I did hit you sideways. You don't know what to do. <coughs> You need to get that water. Oh man, that should get an eye water. My bad. Get that shit out. Don't apologize to us. We understand. I was just choking and dying. When I eat crab legs, I can hear Trey Song singing. Making love faces. Making love faces. What are some things you do to stay grounded? I journal. I pray. I listen to like instrumental, like manifestation, affirmation things. I sometimes I just sit there. I cry. I like get into my actual thoughts. I talk to myself. It's a few things. It depends on like what's going on and, and what I need well, to like bring me back to where I need to be. If you could be any fictional character, who would you choose? Mm. <laughs> Fucking that fuck that crap like up, oh, girl. Damn. Mm. Um. I would be Lala on um, uh, right Lion King. <clears throat> because 
because she was a female baby cub, mm -hmm. you know, they try to like, you know, stop her from doing shit. But she already knew that, bitch, I'm a lion. At the end of the day, I'm a lion. And number two, she got to learn how to defend on her own, but she was very adventurous. And even though she met somebody on the dark side, you know what I mean? She was able to like relate and try to help the older folks on the good side and the bad side come together. So, if I could be anybody, yeah. I'd be loving from Lion King. All right, I got another question for you. If you won the lottery, what is the first thing you would do? The first thing that I'm gonna do is pay my death off. I'm gonna get me right first. Because if I won the lottery, bitch, this ain't no small lottery. We ain't talking about no $30. We ain't talking about a fucking uh, scratch off. We talking about the lottery. I'm going to buy me a crib, pay. Buy me a car, pay. Probably buy about two cars, pay. Um, buy some land. And then, it's crazy you asked me this, or they asked me this because I be thinking about this shit. And then, I'm going to pay my people debt off. Before I give them money, to do whatever the fuck they want to do because I don't want to be like, oh, I'm going to buy you a car. I'm going to buy you. No. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pay your death off and I'm going to give you some money. you going to do what the fuck you want to do with it. But when you get done doing what you're doing, don't come over here. Don't ask me for shit. Don't come over here. Mm -hmm. I would definitely uh, pay my daddy's house off and buy the house that he really wants, wherever the fuck is at. Mm -hmm. That's real. Um, <coughs> That's real. Definitely find a charity that I believe in, support. For real. And you know what I'm saying? Not just donate to them one time, but put money off to the side where I can do it like consistently. You know what I mean? Uh, I definitely got to invest in something that keep the money coming in. So yeah, there's a lot of shit. Uh, next question is, if you were reincarnated as an animal drink ice cream flavor, what would it be? An animal? As an animal, then I want to know as a drink and then as an ice cream flavor. Hey, bro. <laughs> Ice cream, cookies and cream. Goddamn. Okay. Uh, a, a drink. <laughs> reposado. I don't give a fuck what it is. Reposado. Anything, any fucking tequila reposado. Yeah, that's me. I'm in all that shit. And that's a who? It's an animal. A, a, a fucking bird. Animal. Next damn question. Okay. Uh, <laughs> if you could throw any kind of party, what would it be and what what would it be for? I would throw a pool party because because my birthday is in the winter, I've always wanted a pool party, but the pool is never open on my birthday. Mm -hmm. um, I would throw a lesbian, gay to gay male can come to y'all. The whole fucking community, community can come for real. But it would definitely be a LGBT pool party. A whole lot of great vibes going on, big period. You already know what's going on. What is your favorite body part? Uh, somebody or some or or what? A uh, me or somebody else? It just That's says, what, what is you your say? favorite body part? <laughs> Don't fucking huff and puff at me, bitch. I'm just saying, you going deep? You um, want to somebody else or? I'm gonna just say me because I don't have nobody to. I have a favorite body part. On. Right. So my legs. I love my legs. <clears throat> They're so tall and strong. Mm -hmm. Strong as hell. What are the tattoos on them? It's not even the tattoos that make them, it's just the muscle underneath the skin. You know, I was just asking, like, what about the tattoos on them? You don't think they add anything? I mean, yeah, they look good, mm -hmm. but my legs look good. That's why I probably keep tatting my leg because I love my list so much. What's the number one most played song on your iPod? That's a good Playlist? On your iPod. I don't have an iPod. I have- um, oh, well, On your playlist then, what's your, what, what do you think? I made my own playlist called Streets. Okay. A whole lot of rap trap shit going on, big period. Mm -hmm. So that's it, that's the question. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. I did. I'm confused. What's the number one most played song on your iPod? Song by itself. Play. The song, shit, I misunderstood. Um, F and F. <laughs> when do you want to get married? I want to get married when somebody can love me through my imperfections. I don't need nothing perfect, but love me through my flaws. 
Don't love me perfectly, but love me correctly. Mm. And um, yeah. That's a word. Next question. Uh, where would you like to vacation this summer? Where the money at? What's the most incredible thing you've ever eaten? Comp. Comp. Mm -hmm. I ate it in uh, Turks and Caicos. How did that taste? Fucking amazing. It just tastes like seafood to me. It tastes like fried shrimp or a calamari. Mm. Mm -hmm. What is something you learned in the last week? In the last week, I learned that I need to uh, stop procrastinating and like get shit done for real, for real. But trying to wait for a new month, a new week. Get to it. Just get to it. I'm working on it. I got three fucking shrimp left. That is on. Bullshit! What's the hardest thing you've ever done? The hardest thing I ever did, honestly, put my foot down and stand on what I believe in for myself. And that's and I say that because for over 10 years, I've literally had a hard time with voicing how I felt, standing on what I said and how I feel, and letting other motherfuckers like basically run over me. Not really run over me, but did take the fuck is gonna go on. Did take if it's gonna go on, if it's not gonna go on. But the first time and forever, you know what I'm saying? I made the decision for myself, like, nah, I ain't with it. This this is how I feel. I stand by that shit. No matter how many times we talk about it, how, <laughs> how I feel ain't gonna change. And yeah, so that, that was kind of hard for me because like I'm not the best communicator. I'm still learning on how to communicate, especially when it comes to expressing how I feel. So to try to even understand how I felt and then to try to put that shit into words without, because I'm telling you something about me. I am nice. But if I was to be as blunt as I wanted to be, you would think that I'm being harsh or cruel. Sometimes I don't be giving a fuck, but I, I can't always respond in that type of way of that, that I don't give a fuck mentality, you know what I mean? What's the best, worst gift you've ever given or received? The worst gift I ever received was some Jordans mm. that I never had in my life. And I, didn't, I definitely didn't care for them because they make my feet look big. I can't remember the number of them either. But it's um, they they like all white. They usually come in like red and black. <clears throat> red and black. They got, they got like the strap. The they got the strap, but it's not close to strap. Yeah. And they got them holes, like them small holes on the side. What number is that? Me neither, neither. But anyway, yeah, I got that for a gift, and I didn't really care for them shoes. I never said that I liked them shoes. So to receive them shoes, it's kind of like. You gave me them shoes because you liked them, but because you liked them and you didn't want to get them for yourself or maybe they didn't have your size, you got it for me. And I didn't care for that. <laughs> I didn't, and I didn't really wear them because, like, again, they made my feet look big as fuck. So. You look down with that, I didn't like that. Um, the best gift I received was a, um, a necklace and when you look through the necklace it's like it had i love you in different languages oh, that's fucking dope. yeah it was dope as far as me giving <clears throat> now this wasn't the worst gift on my end because a bitch was broke and i literally spent all my fucking money for real, cause I, I ain't had no money. So I spent all my money. I had like $36,000 in my account. And the person that I was with is like very expensive and bougie at the same time. So I'm like, yo, I can't get nothing expensive or that means a lot with $36. So I tried to get something that was sweet. You know what I mean? And I also tried to like make it a really big thing public wise. Because we had a lot of supporters. <laughs> so, what I did was, 
because we haven't like i don't think she had made a post or like went live or like anything like that like to broadcast it was her birthday so i got some edible arrangements i got her um like some straw like strawberry dipped in chocolate i got some balloons but that was all my motherfucking money that's all i had and then i kind of like went live to like build up the audience and so like when i walked through the door it was everybody telling her happy birthday with me presenting the gift yeah this is probably the worst gift i ever gave because she did not appreciate that shit at the fuck all so i know that it was a bad gift because she didn't even fucking like it of course she kept that shit cute on camera but when we got off camera she was like that's all you got me that's all i can afford baby girl <laughs> the best gift i ever got someone um <clears throat> probably was recent not like this year recent but like last year recent and it was like i think it was like two gift bags of just like a whole bunch of like good shit like stuff that they like and stuff that i think i thought they were like and just like you know what i'm saying like little things that um over time we conversated and found out about each other so yeah and that was the last question yeah that was the last question right there <clears throat> Let me finish this corn. God damn. Go ahead and finish it. Mm. Matter of fact. I got some questions. I'm, what? I'm going to say that for later. Okay. Oh, my God. Mm. You got more questions? Let me go off the script. No, nah, nah, nah. Nah, script. Uh-uh. You don't like that? Put that shit in your notes. This video is the fuck up with because I need a hookah. Damn, that shit was good. I got shit in my teeth. Nah, you look good. That's great. <laughs> I'm signing out to the next video, you guys. Thank you so much for your, um, uh, what's that? I almost ate it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank no you hell. so much for your questions. Them questions came off my Instagram. So, um, yeah, I basically just asked people to ask me questions. I told them that I was going to upload it. Um, so, some, you know, some very interesting questions. I had some questions. I didn't expect, uh, I didn't even really, to be honest, I didn't even look at them questions. Yeah. I just screenshotted them all, and then I was like, you know what? I, I was going to do this video by myself and read them out and then answer them. But, you know, just the way things been going, you know what I'm saying? Fran pulled up, and I was like, ooh, this is what we can do. And she was with the shit, so. <sighs> I'm full. But I definitely need a hookah, for sure. And I need to step outside. It's a little cold in here. But I love you guys so fucking much. I need to wash my hands. Oh my god, yeah, so much garlic and stuff. Mm -hmm. I love you guys. I'm signing out. Peace. Nah, I ain't conceited. I'm, I'm a different breed. It. Catch you slipping, best belief. I don't need no reason. I'ma cut the ties, ho. Turn your wife to my ho. Just focus on you, baby girl. <laughs> J vibes. You know the vibes. You know what the fuck going on. And I'm out this bitch.